so when I was going through my problems, all my triggers was whilst I was in the army, whilst I was in the military, whatever it was, whether it was seeing people in uniform, whether it was associating people, subconsciously my brain wasn't happy and it, it, start, it started going into the flight, its own flight mode, which is creating my, my anxiety and, you know, it was very difficult to even put the uniform on eventually and it used to get me extreme, extremely depressed. So when I did start to get help, again, that was all, it was all in military barracks. It was still in uniform sometimes. It was, it was, um, still associated with the military and I was, I was just wasn't getting any better. And I think eventually I said to my doctor, I said, this is great. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting a bit of help. And for like half an hour, I'm talking. It, it feels really good to get stuff off my chest. What it feels like is I feel, feel like I'm someone who's been burnt in a fire. Um, I go to the doctor, they treat me up. And then they send me back into the fire again and I'm just getting burnt. So it become a bit of a no brainer for me that I want to set up a charity where it's going to be a retreat where people can come and stay for seven to 21 days. And they can learn these basic positive mindset training. It can work in line with the, tr- the help that, that they're getting already, but it takes them away from any sort of military environment. You can be fully relaxed, fully calm um, and get a guided hand for a few days and learning about these, mind- these mindful techniques and learning about nutrition and learning about different ways where they can implement stuff. But once they leave, they can implement it in, in their day-to-day life and then be in, in a much better position. 